Hi there, everyone. Welcome back to Yakuza Judgment. I really appreciate you guys joining me today. And let's get back into this zany crime drama nonsense. Let's go. All right. Let's see what's the chapter header. The mole was Hamura's personal underworld assassin. With a mounting threat behind them, Yagami and Kaito are forced to cut ties with Matsugane. And the two set foot down a path of no return. Finally, the name of a mastermind bubbles to the surface. The man is an AD9 researcher, Yoji Shono. It's a heck of an act if he's like if he actually has been commissioning a lot of these murders. The miracle drug. Smoke continues to billow out of the Champion District fire as we speak. The apparent cause is a small explosion which took place in a covert gambling hall not long ago. Eyewitnesses claim they heard the sound of explosives being detonated in the establishment. However, the building was deserted by the time firefighters and police arrived on the scene. With the horror of gang violence still fresh in our minds, the incident only raises tension across the city. Mm, sounds like the plan didn't go so well. They were desperate. Still, we did manage to talk to Hamra. Which is how you found out Shona was the one giving him orders, right? Not Director Kido. Yeah, at least that's a look he was giving us. You can tell that just from a look. Give me a break. I don't know how else to put it. Well, I guess that look is all we have to go off. Mm -hmm. Did you come to taunt me or help me? Don't be mean, Yagami-san. Of course I came to help. Help okay. how? Let's see. I found someone who's an expert on AD9. Looking into that research paper might be our best shot at finding more leads. And I don't know about you, but I can't understand a word of what it says. Yeah, same. But I found somebody who can. I'm impressed. Good work, Hoshino-kun. Just don't get mad, okay? Mad? Why would I get mad? Well, the expert I found... Yeah, sure. I definitely, uh, it's if you can find a raid for uh, somebody to raid, I'd be happy to. What? Please, he's written a lot of articles on 89 and has interviewed all the top medical researchers. That guy? Seriously? This has got to be some kind of joke. He said he'd tell us what we want to know, if you asked him nicely. Yeah, you know what? Let's drop it. I don't care about the paper. <laughs> Yagami-san. What? That research could contain vital information for this case we're building. This isn't an opportunity we can afford to miss. But if we ask him for help now, he's going to want something in return later. Hattori-san's waiting for you at Kyushu number one star. Apparently, he's doing a story on them. Jeez. Come on, Yagami-san. Get going. It's like, God damn it. Yagami-san. I haven't left yet. Coach, no. Well, yes. Hattori-san is making time especially for you. There's no reason for me to come along. Just imagine you're going for a nice bowl of ramen. You'll be done before you know it. Still an ass. Like, Hattori is absolutely an asshole. Like, a terrible person. Hey, no, it's all good. I, I mean, I appreciate you lurking when you do. And I'm actually, I'm glad for you that work is uh, cooling down a bit. You know, you deserve a little bit of a break here and there a good trip. Especially after all of the nonsense you've had to do since I've known you. Man. So there's a sub story there, but I'm just going to keep going to the Kishu number one star for now.
But yeah, it's, it's one of those things uh, to trip. I always am curious, what would it make much of a difference if I stream in the evening instead of the morning? Because, you know, a lot of people work in the mornings. So it makes it easier for me to stream in the evening. It would be potentially a bit better for me to stream in the evening. So that's something I've put thought into as well, of uh, making a change and streaming in the evening sometimes. What's up, dude? Got me some shite. Thanks, dude. Uh, you don't do anything for me. There we go. Atori-san. Hmm? Oh, I didn't notice you there, Yagami-san. Don't tell me you're using a phone camera to take pictures for your article. The resolution on these things is plenty high nowadays. You have a problem? Not really, no. Just didn't know sensationalist food columns were a thing. I only report on things that interest me. That's my professional philosophy. Well, is it gonna take a while? I'm here to talk. Don't worry. I'll be done soon. Yeah, that's true. It does depend on uh, people's um, schedules. Yeah, that, yeah, a lot of people do stream in the evening, and that is part of the reason why I initially got attracted to waiting in the morning. Um, because I realized, hey, you know, like, I, I, in a way, it's less competition in the mornings. But also, less people are off work, especially, usually, in what would be my target audience of, you know, the Western or of, like, North America and stuff like that. Most of them work in the evenings, so it's a bit tough for a lot of people. All right, I'm done. Thanks for stopping by, Yagami-san. Kind of strange sharing a bowl of ramen with you. I thought the day would never come. Can you not? <laughs> Relax, Yagami-san. Are you still working for Kajihira? I'm not sure I'd go that far. He just calls me in for favors every now and again. Helps to be on good terms with the guy. For my job, you know? Uh-huh. It'd be nice to be close with you, too, Yagami-san. I heard you were the one who discovered Shintani-sensei's corpse, after all. I'm here to talk 89. If that's not what this is about, I'm not sticking around. All right, all right. But you'll owe me for this. Look, this is why I didn't want to talk to him. Generally, drug development starts with the discovery of a compound that can treat a given disease. That compound becomes the candidate for a drug. They then test its effects on animals, after which the drug heads to clinical trials. Which is a nicer way of saying human experimentation, by the way. As for the process, it can take years, sometimes even longer, to ensure a drug is truly safe for public consumption. Yeah, yeah, it's tough, I get it. Before now, Alzheimer's drugs have only been able to slow the progress of the disease. None can cure it completely. But Director Kido's 89 proved remarkably effective at doing just that when tested on mice. If it can work on humans as well, maybe we can finally kiss Alzheimer's goodbye. At least, that's what the paper they published a year ago claimed. Interesting. Yagami-san. Hmm? In this country, one in four people over the age of 80 is affected by dementia. That means for a couple in their 50s, there's a good chance that one of their parents has it. And the odds that one member of that couple will develop it themselves is 50-50. No matter how you look at it, dementia is an inescapable issue. If I ever experienced symptoms myself, I'd go to the doctor straight away. In some cases, they can slow the progress enough that you can even keep working. I guess my point is, dementia is not something to fear. It's a possibility to prepare for. Our biggest enemy is ignorance and apathy. Kinda reminds me of someone. 
Yeah, if you say so. Good. I'd like to give you a rundown of what exactly Alzheimer's is then. You interested? You do even if I said no, right? Well, you're gonna even if I say no, right? <laughs> you bet I would. Now let's begin. All right, let's learn about, about Alzheimer's. Out of all the diseases that can cause dementia, Alzheimer's accounts for roughly 70% of cases. It's believed to be brought about by buildup of a protein called amyloid beta in the brain. When that happens, nerve cells start dying off and the brain begins to atrophy. So to put this in layman's terms, Jeez. waste buildup kind of shrinks the brain. <laughs> That's one way to put it, yes. But even that is just a theory at this point. There's still much to learn about Alzheimer's. And when your brain shrinks? Your memory is impaired. Let me explain. There are three processes involved in memory. Encoding, storage, and retrieval. Alzheimer's impairs the first step, encoding. This makes it near impossible to remember new things. I'll give you an example that stuck with me. When doctors asked a dementia patient the date, they had no problem producing the correct answer. But when asked the year, the patient said 1952. Their mind was stuck decades in the past. You see, dementia not only inhibits new memories, but jumbles the ones you already have as well. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, that's a, it's a very serious Good. situation. So how exactly does 89 cure Alzheimer's? According to their research, when they injected 89 into the test mice, it brought about a process known as autophagy. Which is what? It's a Greek word that means self-devouring. That's what your body starts to do to its own proteins. In other words, all the amyloid beta built up in the mice's brains began to instantly break down. Instantly? Yes. And once it was all gone, their Alzheimer's stopped progressing entirely. It's pretty well The shocking that's thing true. is that even brain cells which had lost function were able to recover. As one researcher put it, it's as though the brain turns on a backup generator. If they can bring about similar effects in humans... Be incredible. They'll have a cure for Alzheimer's. That's right. There are millions of patients worldwide, and that number is growing steadily every day. If they actually complete this drug, it could truly change the world as we know it. It's nothing short of a dream drug for both buyers and sellers. I see. If that's true, drug really would be a dream drug, but... <laughs> if you ask me, it sounds too good to be true. Excuse me? I mean... The vice director of the ADDC suspected something fishy was going on with it. But when he started digging around, someone offed him to keep their secret safe. Made it look like a brawl so nobody'd get suspicious. What kind of secret are we talking? Like the drug's effects being falsified. No, there's no chance of that. Huh? How do you know? Since the announcement of AD9, countless animal tests have proven successful. It's no fabrication. So One test you. after another, they've proven its viability. And you're sure? Yes. I'm of the mind they should push forward faster, even if the paper was a little rougher on the edges. After all, dementia drugs are being developed all around the world. It would be a shame if someone beat them to the punch, both for the ADDC and for Japan. Kido-san is far too cautious. This is no time to be testing on animals. They need to move to clinical trials and get this thing out. By which you mean... Experimenting on humans. Human experimentation. Wait. What's wrong? Oh, nothing. Just... Are you absolutely sure there's nothing off about 89? I guess there is an interesting detail I okay. noticed. Hmm? Kido-san is listed as the sole author of the 89 research. 
Ah. But in truth, he only put his name on the paper to lend it credibility. The key researcher For was Shona, someone else yeah. entirely. A guy you know, too. Man by the name of Shono. That's kind of crazy that so Kido's taking want. full responsibility for it. It's Shono, huh? So you're saying Shono's the creator of 89? Seems so. The paper would never have gained such worldwide traction without Kido-san, though. They needed a leading expert to rubber stamp the research and make it seem more official. That, that kind sucks. of thing is pretty common, though. Not really a cause for concern. But it's motive. Shono, what's your role in all of this? Good question. And also, Yagami, are you thinking that they, hear, they experimented on humans that were then the victims of the mole? Because that'd be... That'd be something huge if that's what you're you're getting at. Gonna head to the office and review this case and we'll figure out what's going on. Ah. Bumped into that. Hello. Up we go. In we go. Yo, welcome what's up, back. Guys? Hey there, Yagami san. Gang's all here, huh? How did things go with Hattori-san? Did you learn anything useful? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I guess. Put me into this mode again. Alright, let's just quickly save as I can. Just in case. Um, and sit. Now let's chat about the case. What's going on? Wait, are you saying there isn't actually anything up with 89? That's what Hattori said, yeah. This is the first time I'm hearing about Kido not really being involved, though. It's possible Shono's hiding the truth from even him. Maybe. But first, one term in particular stuck with me from my chat with Hattori-san. Human experimentation. Which is? Human experimentation. Go on. Apparently, 89 is just about ready to be tested on real human subjects. <laughs> Well, that's gross. Side effects include bloating, blindness, and death, right? Knock it off. Sorry, sorry. What's bothering you about that, Yagami-san? Well, it's just... I've just been thinking. What if all these murders were secretly experimental trials for 89? You're... you're serious? If Shono's the one behind all this... What? You think this guy Shono went out, hired an assassin, and started killing people? Guess it's a bit of a stretch, huh? Even if these people were test cases, why would Shono have to murder them? This is a dementia drug, not some kind of chemical weapon. No, but what if it really did have some kind of crazy side effects, though? Like, they didn't want to kill the people, but they ended up dying anyways. It was perfectly fine when they tested it on mice, though. If it ended up killing someone, then... Wait a sec. Yeah, wait a sec is right. We're on the same page here. What if 89 was completely harmless to mice, but lethal when introduced into the human body? If that was the case, they'd need to perform a ton of experiments to make sure it was fixed. Which is why they killed all those Kyore guys. You're gonna need to silence those Yakuza. You might have resorted to using them all. Back it up. If they're testing a drug, wouldn't they want to use it on an actual patient? But they I did. Mean, it's not like those Cure guys all had Alzheimer's or anything. That's true. Actually, it Okubo. says here that they test new drugs on healthy humans as well. They're the control group to make sure the drug is safe. Yeah, eventually. It wouldn't make any damn sense for them to start on anyone but real patients, though. But... Just give it a rest. Try taking this seriously for once. We are taking this seriously. Says the dumbass kid who keeps spouting tinfoil hat shit about goddamn human experiments. <laughs> the only dumbass here is the guy who can't consider all the possible options. Oh, is that right? Next you're gonna tell me they experiment on old man Waku too. Fucking idiots. Hmm? It's like shit. What? 
That incident three years ago at the ADDC. The guy who died, Wakasan. Didn't he have Alzheimer's? Hey, I, I think you're onto something. Huh? Think about it, Kaito-san. Wakasan was an Alzheimer's patient at the center. We know for a fact that Okubo didn't kill him, but they never tracked the real murderer down. It was motivation for the murder was the body human experience. All right, cool for your fucking jets. That happened three years ago. AD9 didn't even exist back then. True, it was only announced last year. But all the research that went into that paper would have reached way further back. Huh? Wait, are we really on to something? Potentially. It's hard to say for sure, but it's worth looking into at the very least. Still doesn't give us any clue really who killed Shintani. Like, we think it's the mole, but... If 89's really what killed Wakasan three years ago, the ADDC's finished. Yup. Shit would be the scandal of the century. You know, I'm starting to see things a little clearer now. I have a few more thoughts about this whole human experimentation theory. Mind if we continue? Sure. Let's do it. Oh, damn. It's giving us, like, a chance to pause. If we want to. Interesting. Okay, so... Let's say Shono did experiment on Wakusan. Why would he do that? They normally do a lot more to ensure a drug is safe before it enters clinical trials. What was his motive for testing it then? Let me think. Why would Shono have broken protocol and experimented Maybe he wanted to try his groundbreaking new drug on a real live human as soon as possible. If it worked, he'd have the cure. And he'd have it without dealing with all the red tape these things go through. It would have saved him years. That's possible. I guess Shono was surrounded by dementia patients. One little test wouldn't be a big deal, and if it succeeded, his drug would save the world. If it meant curing Alzheimer's sooner, he might have been okay accepting the risk. But instead of doing what it was meant to do, 89 had a horrible side effect. Death. The more I think about it, the more it feels like this is how it all went down. It's starting to make sense. But now, even though he knows the risks, he's still experimenting and using the mole to do it. I know this is all just a theory, but the pieces all seem to fit together. So, um, I, I'm just curious where we go from here. Like, it's got to be like that something path, Yagami -san, big. That means Okubo really was innocent, yeah? But he murdered his girlfriend right after. I mean, that's why he's on death row. Quit it, or, Sugiura. We'll get to that later. Could be the mole as well. Yeah. More. More information on So, to summarize our theory so far. It all started three years ago when Shono accidentally killed a patient during an AD9 test. But those tests are still ongoing. That's why Hamura had all those Kyore guys killed. But wait, how would a guy like Shono get wrapped up with Yakuza and assassins? Your run-of-the-mill researcher wouldn't have the cash or connections for that shit. But what if someone close to him did? Someone Shono knows who's got Yakuza ties? The hell could that be? Uh... Minister Cosme from the Ministry of Health. I do know that. Uh, Kajihira, he could know, but I don't think so. And Kido is probably not. I'm pretty darn sure it's, uh, Cosme, but we're gonna double check. Because I don't want to get that wrong. Because it just gives me bonus points. Where was it? Here. Do, 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 do. Uh, oh, no, I think I skipped a thing. Did I? No. I am in chapter nine. Miracle drug. Um, do 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 do. 
Check. Hito and six months ago. Okay. Found it. Ryusuke Kido, director of the ADDC. Oh, I see what you mean. Kido would have access to ADDC funding. There's even been talk of him having ties to the Yakuza somehow, right? I think you've cracked it, Yagami-san. I didn't know it, it was had to be I Kido. thought it was, uh... uh... I don't know if that's really true. Yeah, Why? Do. Think back to the 89 press conference. You remember the look on Kido's face? He was so proud, innocent even. But if he knew about all this human experiment shit, no way he'd look like that. Kid's got a point. <clears throat> then maybe he was only told about the experiments after the conference took place. That would still make sense, right? Uh... First, Shono gets Kido to sign off on the 89 paper and publicly gives him all the credit. Thrilled about the possibilities, Kido proudly presents the research at that press conference. There's no turning back after that, even if he found out about the experiments. That's probably how Shono got Kido on his side. He then used Kido's funding and connections to bring in Hamura and the Mole. It feels like all the pieces are falling into place. Mm hmm That means... Kido's not actually the one in charge. Right. Oh. Shono is behind everything. Mm. Let's say you're right. When did Shono start using this guy? When was the mole's first murder? Uh, Jinjo, if you don't mind, could you take a moment to take a look if you can find anyone we can raid? Uh, after these cutscenes are done, uh, I'm gonna end the stream. First time Shono actually used an assassin would have been six months ago. Three years ago. When he started killing the quarry Yakuza. Probably Hashiki's death six months ago. And why do you say that? Hashiki inching closer to the truth about 89 was a serious problem for Shono. But as we know, Shono was in a taxi at the time of the beating. Meaning someone else must have been responsible for Hashiki's death. The man in the black raincoat? He's the mole? Yeah. Only the best of the best assassins would have the skill to do what they did to Hashiki. Can't argue with that. Who knows how close Hashki was to finding out about the human experimentation before he died. Yeah, and if he had, that would have been the end of the line for Shono. Seems like a plausible motive to me. Mm. So what, everything just makes sense? I don't know. Looks like Sekira still isn't totally on board. If you board. have something to say, say it. I mean... This is still just a theory, right? It all sounds almost too convenient. Hmm? What do you mean? If Shono killed Wakusan at the ADDC three years ago, then Okubo, the primary suspect in the case, would be totally in the clear. Yep. Already proved that in court, remember? Then why would he murder his girlfriend? But Okubo, he... He killed his girlfriend right after. He stabbed her over and over. Even set the place on fire. Reeked of booze, too. Even though he was supposed to be dry. Defend him all you want. But the guy's a murderer. That's why the whole thing was such a big deal. Everyone realized the court made a mistake. It took the death of an innocent girl for them to realize that Okubo probably did it after all. Yet here you are. Claiming the court got it right. Claiming Okubo's innocent. But you just don't want to feel responsible for Emi Terasawa's death. That's it, isn't it? Enough, Sugiura. You're way out of line, and you don't know shit. Look, I know I get swept up in my emotions pretty easily sometimes. All the same, I'm trying to be fair here. Are you? So if we want to treat Yagami-san's theory like it's the truth, then we'll have to figure out whether or not Okubo is innocent. If he actually killed Wakasan. And how are you yep. suggesting we do that? It's simple. We just go to Okubo and ask if he did it. 
You want to talk to him face to face? Meeting with a death row inmate isn't that easy. A lawyer like you should have no problem setting that up, right? Okay, Okubo's still in jail. I can meet him, but... He can't stand me, though. From day one, Okubo insisted he was innocent. That he didn't kill Emmy. But I... I abandoned him. I told him he'd be better off just giving up. Fine. But that's a pretty weak excuse for not going to talk to him now. If you really want to pursue this case, you don't have a choice, Yagami-san. Seriously. Well... Hoshinoku. Yes? Let's go talk to Okubo. Think you can arrange that for me? I can try. Let me get in touch with the prison. Thanks. I'll be at Gendis if you want to find me. Looking over the old case files. All right. Damn, I just want to play more of this game. Ah, uh, things are super intense now. Holy shit. Things are intense. Like, the main case and everything. Jeez, now we think it might be, like, a even bigger conspiracy than we thought. Which is just, like, nuts. And this still is open, because we don't know exactly who killed him. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, this is intense. Um... So yeah, Jintrip, if you're able to find uh, someone to raid, we'll, uh, we'll raid them. But uh, otherwise, I'll be ending my stream here shortly. But yeah, it's... Um... Jeez, this is kind of just really crazy at this point. Seriously, it's... Man, everything just keeps getting wilder and wilder. I mean, part of me, like, was, like, kind... Part of my brain did consider the idea of human experimentation, but I considered it for Waku's case, not for the Kore murders. I was like, okay, Waku, yeah, the guy who actually had Alzheimer's. I could, I could see that he got experimented on. But then they're saying this, all this stuff about uh, the Kore members, and then that, that seems crazy to me. That seems absolutely crazy. Alright. Ugh. Trip, have you found somebody? Someone who's alive? Alive and alive? Get out of the office, take a look at around the world. Head to Ganda Law. So yeah, there's just the one sub-story there. There's a handful of friendships. Um, so I'm at 35. So one, two, three, four, four friendships. Let's see, one, two, three, four. And then... Yeah, that's it, because this one and this one, they're kind of locked. So I can only make four friends, so that's not enough to get up to 40, so we'll, uh, we'll just kind of skip on that one for now, for the friendships. Um, but yeah. Well, Trip, if you don't have, uh, anyone, we'll just, uh, end up the stream here. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching this episode of Yakuza Judgment. Really, really appreciate it. Uh, if you could, I would really like if you could leave a like, subscribe. It really helps with building up a small channel like this. Beyond that, I hope you have a great day. Take care of yourself. Take care of others. Peace.